Hi everybody, this is Nicola and today we have a makeup video and today is my update for This Is Fantasy. This is hosted by the Fantastic Ladies and created by Alicia. I will leave all the information you need in the description box below so please do check that out before you leave. So, uh, project based on fantastical creatures and I actually have quite a few rollouts this month. Uh, so let me just grab those. Okay, so uh, the first, I have four rollouts, four rollouts. Um, the first rollout is not because I hit goal or I hit pan or for any other reason than um, it broke. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, this happened. Um, it, I dropped it. <laughs> I, I, I was a little bit of butterfingers and I dropped it. Um, so, yeah. Um, so this product was in for the Basilisk, a dark matte shadow, which was this shade. I was trying to hit pan. And then also for Zombie, which was uh, this shade. And... <laughs> The, the 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 prompt of a zombie was a product that is falling apart well if it didn't live up to that prompt <laughs> a little bit too well um i'm not about using broken packaging products um this is no longer safe um hygienic um <sighs> What can I do? What can I do? This is actually my oldest palette in my collection now. Um, this was, I mean, it's I Heart Makeup. Revolution hasn't had I Heart Makeup for years. It's I Heart Revolution now. Um, so that tells you how old this is. And um, look, I've already got one, two, three, four, five, six. I've already got seven pans in a 16 pan palette. I'm quite happy with that so uh yeah this is coming out i'm not i'm not about using products um i mean it was going to get decluttered at the end of the year anyway um whether or not i hit goal or it broke or whatever um i mean i still had the paper you know for the the names on it so the fact that it, i managed to do that all these years is a bloody miracle um but yeah, I'm not about keeping broken packaging. Uh, so yeah, that's being rolled out for uh, the Basilisk prompt and the Zombie prompt. So that's number one. The next item, as a project panner, I'm sure you will understand my pain. When I say to you that after I filmed my last update, and there was, you know, I filmed it, I edited it, I posted it. The very next time I used this particular product, I hit my goal. It's the MAC Painterly Paint Pot and I hit pan. Can you see it? Right down there. And not after I'd done both eyes. No, 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 no. After I did one eye, I hit pan one eye one eye first time i used it after my last update when it could have been rolled out last time so yeah that happened the pain the anguish the frustration <laughs> couldn't have done that you know Ugh, anyway so yeah uh, i hit goal on my mac paint pot in painterly i use this as an eye base um and this was in for the unicorn product the new and untouched item it was untouched well it was new when i brought it in i'd only swatched it once to make sure that it was the right skin tone for me and it was so i used it um i will say that i am going to continue to use this i have continued to use this every time i wear makeup um because i'm going to continue to use this as my eye base it's just not going to be in the project any longer so it will stay in my makeup drawers my everyday makeup drawer um 
but it will no longer be updated in the project plan. The next item is my red lipstick uh, from Kat Von D. I'm not going to say the name because it grosses me out. And I have this much left. This one had a usage goal of 10 uses and as of today I hit that 10 usage goal. So uh, up until the last update I had used this one, two, three, four times. Four times. And in the last month I used this six times. Every time I did my makeup, I used this lipstick in one way, shape or another. So I got those uses done. There's not a lot left in here. And I do think that if I was to continue to try to use this, I could get it finished before the end of the year and have a lipstick out of my collection. Um, but I also have Max Ruby Woo and that one is older than this one so i don't know do what would you do give me your opinion would you continue to use a lipstick that you think you can finish before the end of the year or would you start using an older lipstick that you have no chance of finishing by the end of the year but it is older so and it is more sentimental um and you do want to get more use out of it before it turns bad what would you do let me know in the comment section below uh, so yeah so that one is coming out that was for vampire a blood red product and then the last one um, that is coming out is my Tarte Be A Mermaid Make Waves palette. This was of course in for the Mermaid prompt, which was a woman owned company. Um, so the um, goal for this was 10 uses. And up until the last update, I'd used it three, four, five, six times. So I have used it four times within the last month. And this is what it looks like now. Very shiny packaging, sorry. Um, so I've got to say that I really fell in love with these two shades here um, it, within the last month. Those two shades really, really, oh, I loved it. Um, and that with another product that's in this project pan, just together were just glorious this lagoon shade is it lagoon yeah this lagoon shade i love it it's so pretty and so gorgeous so there's the this is lagoon and this is splash and look at them look at them I mean, aren't they just the most gorgeous colours you've ever seen in your entire life? That Lagoon colour, it, it just, it blows me away how beautiful it is. Um, and these these bronzy colours as well. I kind of wish I'd picked this as my pan that palette for this year. You know, big bulky packaging. Like, that, that describes this. Um, because then I could have been playing with this all year. Um, I have recently found my 2018 notebook where I note down all my purchases and all my empties for the year and this I purchased in 2018 so it's four years old. Uh, I need to start focusing on, on this palette so um, yeah I want to start working on this palette get more use out of it. Um, so although it is going back in my, uh, my, my makeup drawers, um, I am going to be more, more aware of pulling it out more often, uh, maybe once a month or something like that to play with because I really do love the colours in here. So yeah, really, really love that. And as I say, that was my mermaid product. So those were the empties or the rollouts nothing was actually empty was it um so let's move on to the other items in this project 
So the first item is my Physicians Formula Highlighter, which is actually not. Uh, this is a Franken Highlighter. And my goal is to just use up this quarter. And as you can see, we are so close. Like, we are so close to the edges now. Um, I kind of want to do a, like a line. So, see this line here? This is what I'm working for. So this is what I am wanting to work through. Um, but every time I put my brush in it, that line disappears when I make it. Um, so yeah, but that's basically what we're working on. Um, last month, this weighed 54.40 and apparently still weighs 54.40. Uh, I've got to say that I have another highlighter now in a different project pan and I have been using that a bit more. Um, so this is not my main focus anymore. Um, but uh, I think I will definitely come back to this one. Um, uh, maybe even start using it as an inner corner highlight or something. Because uh, I'm going to need to use a smaller brush. Um, so yeah, uh, that's that one. The next item, this is actually what I was supposed to be using as an inner corner highlighter and I keep forgetting. It's my MAC Single Eyeshadow in Dust Off and I have not used it again. I'm supposed to be trying to hit pan on this. Nothing. I, I, I think, do you know what it is? I think it's because I'm trying to work on too many things that I would use as an inner corner highlight. Like this highlighter like some colours that are in my Pan That palette. And so this is getting left behind and I'm not using it at all. And I keep saying I'm going to focus in on it and I never do. Um, it's just too close to being like, you know, every other shimmery champagne eyeshadow, you know, that or highlighter that I would use as an inner corner highlight. Um, I'm just not using it. So this has stayed exactly the same, 12.69. The next item is my Body Shop Body Butter in Vanilla Pumpkin. Beautiful packaging. And, ta-da! We have a bit of a smiley face and a single eye there. <laughs> it's a cyclops. Smiley cyclops. Uh, so yeah, not much left at all. I reckon maybe... Mm, two maybe three more uses um so this has gone from 125.58 to 86.55 grams i love the smell of this it's one of my favorite scents of body shop do and i hope they do uh vanilla pumpkin again this year because i think this is my last vanilla pumpkin item in my collection so i want to repurchase some more of this uh, the next item is my nail polish from Sleek in Birthday Suits. Um, I have used this twice in the last month. Um, if you ha uh, have been watching my channel for a while, you'll know that I've recently brought in um, Zodiac Project. And in that one, I am focusing primarily on nail polishes i'm using it as like a project polish and so i'm focusing on a lot of polishes in that project and this little one gets left behind i am trying to use it at least once um i think we are down to here there so uh just just above where the s is um so yeah um, it has gone from uh, 29.95 to 29.80. Um, as I say, I am focusing on my Zodiac project more. And as long as I get this used at least once um, every month, I'll be quite happy. The goal is to use it 10 times. <clears throat> Sorry. And I have currently used it six times. So we have another four uses to go so maybe maybe I might focusing on this uh, within the next month but yeah that's that one the next item is my body shop uh, elderflower eye gel 
So it looks like this. Um, it, it's all over the top and that, so you can't really see what I've got in here now. I tried to knock it all down, but it's just not. <laughs> it's very hard to see a very clear product. Uh, so anyway, uh, this one uh, was 24.72 grams and now weighs 22.92 grams. I use it every time I do my skincare. I always use this on my eyes because it's the only thing that doesn't sting and doesn't dry my eyes out. So yeah, uh, love that stuff. The next item is my Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in Fair One. So it looks like this. I am getting some window in um, now when I'm like swirling my brush around. Um, not a lot of windowing, but some windowing. Um, but there's still plenty of product when I pull the brush out, the doe applicator, I mean. Uh, so it's gonna be in for the long haul, babe. Uh, I'm gonna call you baby then. You're not my baby. Uh, <laughs> Last update, this weighed 10.90 and it now weighs 10.33. It is my primary concealer. I don't use any other concealers apart from this one. So, slow and steady wins the race. The next item is the item that I mentioned I was using with the Be A Mermaid and Make Waves palette. And yes, I did it guys. I finally used it. I did. I'm even wearing it today underneath this eye look. So this is my number seven Stay Perfect Shade and Define Eyeshadow Pencil in Gunmetal Grey. There it is. You can see how nice it looks with these colours, which is why I loved it so, so much. It made like a really smoky, beautiful peacock mermaid kind of eye look. I it so so much um so yeah i have used it guys i used it <laughs> i think I, I think i need a round of applause just for that um so um i only used it twice no i did not no i did not i've miscalculated that it says i only used it twice i know i've used it more times than that because I used it for the four times that I used the mermaid makeup palette, uh, the mermaid palette, and I've worn it today. So I've at least worn it five times, but whatever. Um, it has it has moved in weight for the first time <laughs> since the start of the project. <laughs> it's gone. Are you ready for this? It's gone from twelve point four eight to twelve point three six point one two of a gram the point is <laughs> i'm using it <laughs> i'm finally using it and it's absolutely gorgeous i love it so so nice uh so yeah finally used it uh the next item i didn't use i haven't used it uh it is the uh barry m fine glitter dust and it is in this mermaidy shade not used it a single time, so it has stayed the same at 21.14 grams. The next item is the Revolution Skin Kiss Bronzer, but it's not because it's a repre repressed bronzer. Where's my little spatula? I don't want to break my nails. Uh, so it's a repressed bronzer, and this is how much I have left. So it's definitely, I mean, I'm definitely widening the pan here. And it's definitely getting thinner, thinner in places as well. So again, this is my primary bronzer. I don't use anything else. And I've actually now started to use this in my crease as well, uh, just to get some extra use as well. So this one has gone from 86.26 grams to 85.77. So very, very happy with that. And that is my update. So I have completed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 items in this project so far. And I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 products left in this project pan. And I believe it goes until 
uh, October. So we have a few months left. I think I think I, I, I could do really well in this project uh, overall. And I'm very happy with that. There's nothing that I'm really, really concerned about. Um, maybe this is the only product that I really need to focus in on and get some more use of before the end of the project. But I started using the number seven eye pencil, so win-win, really. So yeah, so that is the update for you. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!